I've been approached by a reader this week who tells me that his neighbour often parks in front of his driveway. And he now asks me, where does he stand legally? Now, first of all, I should say this, and I always say this when it comes to disputes with neighbours. Before you launch into any legal action or before you call the police or anyone else, it's always best to try and resolve the dispute amicably. Now, this is for two reasons. One, the obvious, because of course you live next door to these people or this person, and you don't want to be falling out with them being that close to where you live. But secondly, there's a legal reason, which is this. When you come to sell your property, if you've had a long-standing dispute with a neighbor, that's information that you would have to disclose to a potential buyer. And of course, that sort of information could put them off buying your house. It could even devalue your house. So it's always worth thinking carefully before you launch into any dispute with those people that live around you. Now, lots of people are always surprised to hear when I tell them that it's not actually illegal to park in front of someone's driveway. It's not even illegal to park on their driveway. That's because parking on their driveway means that you're parking on private land and therefore it can't be criminal. Parking in front of the driveway is not illegal because there is no law that says it is. Now, at this point, lots of people often say, yes, there is. Rule 243 of the Highways Code says, do not park in front of someone's property. And yes, it does say that, but that does not make it a legal requirement. And in fact, what many people don't know is that in the Highways Code, um, rules are only a legal requirement if the words must not are at the beginning. So if it said you must not park in front of someone's property, that would make it a legal requirement. And if you did park in front of someone's property, you would be breaking the law. It would be illegal. But here, Rule 243 does not say that. It says do not. And that means it's simply an advisory note. And what follows is that if you were to call the police, they would not do anything. They would tell you to simply speak to your neighbor or that it's a civil matter. Now there is an exception to this because we have something called the drop curb rule. And if you have a drop curb in front of your driveway, then you can call the police or the local council, say that someone is parked in front of a dropped curb in front of your driveway, because then the police or the local council or authority would potentially have the power to issue a parking ticket, often referred to as a PCN. That's because it's a parking contravention to park in front of a drop curb. Now there's another twist to this as well, because of course, if you park on a public highway and the way you are parked could be dangerous, to other vehicles on that highway, then that is illegal. And this is because rule 242 under the Highways Code has the magic words, must not. You must not park in a dangerous position on the highway. And therefore, if you believe that this car parked in front of your drive is causing a potential nuisance to other users, then you could call the police. They, of course, will come out and assess the situation. If they believe that you're right, they'll take action. If they think that you're not, then of course they won't. But that's gonna be the test. Now, if you have a long-standing dispute with a neighbor, you've tried to resolve it amicably and you've got nowhere, then one of the things you could do is to go and take civil action, which basically means you're not involving the police, you're not going through the criminal courts, Instead, you're going to the civil courts, to the county court, and you'd be saying to the court that this neighbor is causing me a nuisance because they are impairing my enjoyment of my property by stopping me freely driving on and off of my driveway. And if you were successful with that action, you would get a court order, a civil court order, for them to stop doing so. But I always say this, do not take this lightly. This is not a step you would simply take without trying all other measures to resolve this dispute first. But it is one of the legal tools you've got in your box if you need to deploy it.